Well, strap yourself in for one of the longest sequences in this game. We're leaving as soon as Selfie comes back. We're on standby till then. Doesn't seem like the enemy has invaded this garden yet. Are they on their way? Where's the sorceress? We have to find her and... And what? You know, ever since I met all of you, I've been doing some thinking. I can't stop thinking about it. I can't come up with an answer either. Why did the sorceress come into the picture all of a sudden? Was she actually waiting for this opportunity? Huh, wonder if she was living a normal life before all this. Why the search for Alone? Alone, inviting Squall back to the past, whereas the sorceress searches for it. Could it be the sorceress trying to make this journey into the past too? I gotta do something to show that Selfie can depend on me. Okay, uh, I talked to everyone. Yeah, 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 you've been doing some thinking. Okay, I'm gonna leave here. Bye, guys. Is this a time to vent or something? I talked to everybody, what the heck? Okay, I'm just gonna speed it up here. Oh, there we go. Sorry to keep you waiting. Thanks so much for coming all the way out here, everyone. Cheer up, eh? Thanks. Take me with you when you fight the sorceress, okay? I wanna get even, I want my revenge. Um... I'm gonna change the subject now. Do we have to fight? Isn't there another way? You know, to avoid any bloodshed? Yo, what the- What are you saying all of a sudden? Maybe someone really smart can come up with a way so we won't have to fight anymore. What are you getting at? If someone can come up with something, that'd be great. But no one's doing anything. They're all scared, uneasy. All they do is complain. They just pretend to be thinking. How do you know, Squall? You're stuck inside your head so often. They criticize others, but in the end, they can't do anything either. Renoa, why all this all of a sudden? What do you expect from me? I grew up in Garden. I'm a seed. Do you understand? Squall? You have to voice your feelings or else I won't understand. You were part of the resistance movement in Timber, right? Unlike others who were all talk, you took your weapons and fought. And now you're saying all this? What's happened to you? I guess I'm getting scared. Sometimes when I'm with all of you, I feel like we're on the same wavelength, you know? But when the battles start happening, it's different. Everyone's tempo seems to pick up and I get left behind. I try to catch up, but it's no use. How far is everyone going? I can't hear anyone. Once I catch up, I wonder, is everyone safe? Will they welcome me with open arms? Is everyone okay? Will we all make it back together? When I start thinking like that, Renoa, I understand. Someone might not be there. Someone you love may disappear before your very eyes. It's tough when you live your life thinking that way, but that's why I fight. When I was a little kid, I was about four or so, I was in an orphanage. Boy, this conversation switched gears really fast. Plenty of kids, all with no parents. I was around the end of the Sorceress War, so I guess it couldn't be helped. It was around. Anyway, that's where I was. I'm sorry if I mispronounced stuff, guys. I'm, I'm really trying my hardest here. And out of all the kids there, one was very special to me. Irvy, wanna play? I really like this girl, and it made me so happy just talking to her. Seafy, what you playing? War! So, flashing back to, uh... I, I don't really get how this is connecting with Renault's idea. Was that orphanage a stone house? You guessed it. An old house made of stone by the ocean? You guessed it. I knew right away when we first met. Hey, why didn't you tell us? Yes, why didn't you tell us? Because you seem to have forgotten. It just kind of sucked that I was the only one who remembered. Spunky little Seffy and bossy little Queasy. That was just... A, that is just so weird. Huh? Hey, do you guys remember setting off fireworks? That was... This way! Oh, wait. That was supposed to be older Zell that spoke. I used his little kid voice. Okay, I'm the ghost of Squall here, so I'm just gonna chase them. 
There's probably some stuff here, but I'm not even going to worry about it. Hello, Charlie Brown. I mean, Little Squall. Sis, where'd you go? You don't like me anymore? What a shameful sight. Alright, so, uh, I know I saw Irvin go this way. There's probably other stuff here, but, I mean, this is a long segment. I'm gonna try to push through it as quick as I can. Okay, why am I the only ghost here? I mean, you guys are all... How about this? Yeah! The ocean! The lighthouse! We did set off fireworks! So you know how Final Fantasy is all about, like, fate and stuff? Yo! Oh wait, it's Lil Zell. Yo! Kids aren't supposed to play with fireworks! I'm telling! I'm gonna tell on you! Crybaby Zell, go back to bed! If I remember this, does that mean I was there too? We all got in big trouble. Then what about my parents in Balaam? Okay, yeah, they set off fireworks. The Dinks in Balaam must have adopted you. Yep, that's probably it. I was here. Yo, come on, stop it! May Twin, help! Oh, who is this little poopet? Cry, baby, Zell! Who's that? Yeah, 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 yeah! Stop teasing me, Seifer! Oh my goodness! Seifer, my arch enemy. Wow, he was there too! Well? Okay, bye, Irvin. I'm gonna talk to these little kids for a sec. Irvin? Sorry, I don't remember you. Quistus, I think you were difficult to deal with. Selfie, always full of energy. Draco Malfoy, I mean Seifer. Seifer was always Seifer. Zell, always crying and screaming. <laughs> so Squall remembers all this fine, although he's not saying anything. Seifer was there too. Except for Renoa, we were all there. Well, that's why Renoa feels like she was behind then. Hey, that means... Yeah. I was there too. I... Sis... I was always waiting for Sis to come back. I'm all alone, but I'm doing my best. I'll be okay without you, Sis. I'll be able to... If you stand out in this rain, you're going to die of pneumonia. I didn't turn out okay at all. Sis Ellie. Ellie alone. So alone with Sis. She was a bit older than us, and we all used to call her Sis. Quistus, Zell, Sylphie, or Irvin, Seifer, alone, and myself? Yeah, I'm not sure what the meaning behind all this is, but we were definitely together. Did they just make a typo? Maybe they said defiantly together. You mean Sis is alone? She's the one that takes us back to Laguna's period. She said she wanted to change the past. I don't know why. There can be only one reason for that. She must not be happy with the present. If that's the case, I'm definitely up for helping her. She's part of our orphanage gang. You don't even remember who she was. Hey, Selfie, that goes for you too. Ah, uh, so Sis was alone, huh? Everyone was fond of Sis, but you, Squall, you kept hogging her for yourself. You sure have a good memory. This is really strange. I don't think I was adopted because of the way I am. Probably the same with Seifer too. You two must have been guarded by the age of five or so. Even so, he's never mentioned anything about growing up in an orphanage. And nothing about this has ever crossed my mind when I see him either. Don't you find that odd? That is strange. In my case, I had loads and loads of fun after going to Trabia. That's probably why I forgot about my childhood. That's what I think. But I don't know what's with you guys. It's so odd that you would forget. I remember. Yes, I remember now. Things didn't work out too well at my home, so I came to Garden at the age of 10. That's when I first noticed Seifer and Squall. Seifer and Squall were always fighting. Yeah, Quistus always used to break us up. Yes, that's right! Seifer was a kid who always needed to be the center of attention, but Squall always used to ignore him. But eventually they'd end up fighting. Squall could have easily walked away from it, but always took up the challenge. He should have ignored him, but Squall, almost in tears, would say, I gotta do my best for myself, or else I won't be able to see Sis. I guess I was trying to take Sis, I mean Alone's place. 
I tried, but to no avail. That's probably it. Even after becoming an instructor, I couldn't stop thinking about Squall. I thought it was love. I had to hide my feelings because I was an instructor, but I've come to realize it wasn't. It was my childhood feelings as a big sister that lingered. Oh well. A misunderstood love? Actually, I'd completely given up when Renoa came into the picture. <laughs>